Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 8 of Let's Play Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. Um, gonna turn me down in the headphones a little bit here. Turn the volume down. Alright, so, last episode, we, um, we freed Kellerin from the grips of Sergeant ba uh, Brandon and his goons. And now, let's see, we have a staunching augment. I don't think anybody can really use that. Um, do we have three healing potions? We do. Uh, we have a dead eye rune plus the hit chance. Um, well, we can sell the leather cap for one. We can sell the wood buckler for three. And we can sell the oak wand for six. I don't know about these two yet. We have 153. Um, she's got a vault chain helm. Four physical, two magical. This is three physical, two magical, and only 20%. Shh. Oh, Elspeth is a guy? I'm not sure, actually. But anyway, um, we could buy an iron bar. Let's see what happens if I buy an iron bar. Okay, it was the only iron bar. Sure, we'll take that iron bar. Alright, that's it for now. Um, let's go ahead and fast travel. Head back to Fort Haven. Huh, I guess we can't unless we leave. So we had success there. <clears throat> um, let's go report to Miranda, Chief Miranda. And yeah, let's go report. The portal is all lit up. Um, I have saved the town of Kellerin. You tell Chief Miranda the tale. She finds it highly satisfying. I have come to despise deserters with all my heart. How anyone could take all Haven offers and then turn against it. She shakes her head. We received some materials from Kelleran, which is a good start. However, I think that with work, there is much more we could extract from that region. I can tell you more when you have time. <clears throat> um... I hope I was of assistance. Okay. Um, any messages for me? The portal has been humming. Let's go ahead and come up here, though, and talk to uh, Sage Harlan. What information may I provide, Prince? Um, can you use some information? Uh, he's got nothing new. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's go check out the portal. When you approach the portal, you hear your mother in the middle of conversation. Ten more tons of coal a year, guaranteed. Tell them that is our final offer. Now go, I must speak with Prince Matthew. A pause. So, Matthew, you met the Ariel. I remember when I first visited their land, they offered me a flask of that enchanted elixir they drink. Really? Oh, yes. Their ruling class swears by it. Says it gives them visions. The wisdom to rule doesn't drive them mad at all. They swear it. What did you do? I took the flask. I thanked them profusely. Then I disposed of the stuff in private. Never fully trust your vassals, especially when drinking Quicksilver has driven them half mad. 
or are all mad. Anyway, I do not envy you having to deal with the Ariel leaders. Why? Those with the wealth to afford elixir are the ones who rule their society. Then the elixir drives them mad. It makes dealing with them very unpredictable. Pity that the potions they make are so valuable to Haven. Um, maybe they need new leaders. Haven often needs to replace the leaders of our vassal states when they become unreliable. Unre Look for a suitable candidate and do what you can. Then her voice cuts out. It happens sometimes. Portals can be unpredictable. Not sure what she meant by seeing the... By meeting the Ariel, but... I guess we did. <clears throat> Um, okay, let's see if we can buy a building. We can. Ah, right. We can buy pretty much any new building. Um, let's start with guard towers. Instills ballistas and other arms into your guard towers. This reduces theft of your resources in this region. Buying more guard towers reduces the damage you take in combat. This upgrade is placed automatically. But it takes... It upkeep cost is one iron and one stone. Bakery. Used to bake fresh bread, which is always popular. A valuable addition that earns you more gold. You need to build a mill in this fort before your bakery will generate money. <clears throat> upkeep cost two wood. Doesn't make money unless there is a mill. Distillery. Used to make alcoholic beverages, a valuable addition that earns you more gold. You need to build a mill in this fort before your distillery will generate money. Doesn't make money unless there's a mill. Mill. Farmers bring their grain here to be milled, a valuable addition that earns you more gold. Upkeep is one wood, one stone, so that's a possibility. Barracks. Quarters for soldiers loyal to you. The presence of a barracks reduces theft of your resources in this region. Each new barracks gives you a damage bonus in combat, plus one damage to melee for odd barracks and missiles, slash magic for even barracks. Hmm. That's uh, interesting. Upkeep is one iron. Carpenter. A carpenter's workshop. Come here to buy shields, bows, wands, and stabs. Creating more woodworking shops makes more powerful equipment available for sale. Upkeep is two wood. Weaving room. Workshop for creating cloth and making it into fine garments. Buy new robes and hoods here. Building two weaving rooms also increases the size of your backpacks by one. Something we don't need yet. I would love to build a second smithy. Creating more smithies enables you to buy more powerful metal armor and weapons. Hmm. Just to beautify things, you can do that. Use those uh, options. Hmm. <clears throat> Thinking a mill and then maybe a distillery or a bakery. Probably a bakery. The mill upkeep is yeah. Um Carpenter's interesting too, though. <coughs> um, you know, I might build a carpenter. I might build three buildings. <sighs> oh, 
Carpenter. Smithy is, has too much of a high upkeep cost. I think I'm going to buy it. Um, let's hit F3 here. And go ahead and buy a Carpenter. And place the building. Current earnings, current upkeep. Okay. Keep is fine. What's that? What would you name this for? Fort Haven. Alright, we've got a carpenter. The carpenter emerges from a cloud of sawdust ready to take orders for fine custom equipment. Bows and shields are available. Wands and stabs can be made for characters who've had magical training. Let me see your wares. The carpenter has bows for all your characters. There are also shields. The bigger shields can only be used by characters with weapons training. Characters trained in mage skills can also use wands and stabs. Wands are one-handed weapons. Stabs require both hands. Let's see your bows. Oh, he's got a U-bow. Nice. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do some leveling up. Let's get Elspeth here. Um, knock back. Knock back and ensnare your foe, keeping it at a safe distance. Shield shatter. Your next attack with your weapon will do 25% extra damage and make your foe vulnerable. Increasing your damage to it. Hardiness. Always active. Increase your maximum health by 10% per level. <clears throat> or we could go some sort of support. Healing. Magic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get hardiness for Elspeth, I think. Oh, 20% per level resistance to bleeding, poison, stun, and mental effects. Uh, that's so tempting. You know what? I think I'm going to get hardiness. Um, let's see what that, uh, does for Elspeth. How do I, how do I check the character sheet? Oh, is that the combat log? Did I not even know there was a combat log, but I just hit C and it appears? Oh my gosh. Let's look. <clears throat> what is C? Toggle text console. Oh, it's a text console. It's not actually a log. Is it? We'll find out later. Um, how do I see this character's character sheet like? There's more stats in this. There they are. I want to know how much HP she he has. He or she has. Hmm. It'll make it easy to see that stuff. Okay, anyway, how about Terrence here? <clears throat> um, provide 12 turns of haste, one ally. You'll get turns in combat more often. Teleport one character to a nearby spot. Hide in shadows. Inspire and cry. Curing. Um, 
Let's go ahead and get speed to get 12 turns of haste. And then we've got Patricia. Doing well in magic, we can go up into this to get plus one energy. Passive ability, raw power, increase your maximum energy by one per five character levels. Time warp costs two energy, slows enemies in a circular area, they will act less often in combat. Poison rain, two energy, inflicts magical damage and poison in a circular area. Icy wave, weakness. Error. 20% bonus to all healing, blessings, and curses you cause. Mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and just get... You know what? We should probably get healing with her. Let's do that and get plus 5% evasion. Yeah, let's get healing. Awesome. So she can heal a bit. And then finally, oh, there's health. 47, 46, 35, 35, okay. Then there's me. We can look at cultural, Haven's Command. Doubles the damage bonus of all allies within four spaces. Powerful heals and cures all allies within six spaces. Powerfully hastes and blesses all allies within six spaces for five turns. <clears throat> Let's see what else we can learn. Um, Steel skin. Whirlwind attack. Let's get another point of whirlwind attack. Does 20% more damage at level 2. Um, let's, I want to see Patricia. <laughs> Dang, she doesn't have this passive. 20% bonus to all healing blessings and curses you cause. Okay, but that's pretty interesting. Okay, now let's check the uh, Carpenter. Wand of Horn. Um, I don't think I can use a wand, right? I don't have the magic skills. Patricia has better equipped. Oh wait, the Wand of Horn is a bit better. We'll forget wands. Let's look at stabs. Staff bolt. 10 to 16 magical damage. Weakness for two turns with a 50% chance. That's pretty interesting. Two-handed weapon. 9 to 15. Oh, but then she'd have to take off the Amethyst Orb. Yeah, no thank you. Um, shields. Ooh. Got a wood shield. 5% speed penalty. Dang. Scale Buckler doesn't have a speed penalty. So let's see, should we buy a scale buckler? Um, 
You don't have a shield. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy a scale buckler. And I want to sell something. We'll sell the wooden buckler. Staunching augment. Did uh, I rune? Let's go ahead and sell the staunching augment. see some bows. I guess I'm gonna definitely buy the U-bow because it's an upgrade. Let's go ahead and buy it. And we can give crude bow to me. Alright, very good. We have 40 gold left. I guess that's it. Carpenter kneels as you leave. Alright, let's, um... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to put up some... Some banners and stuff. So let's go ahead and put a shop banner for three gold. Um... Wait, is that what I want? <laughs> no, I wanted a sign, not a shot banner. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess that is what it is. Huh. Okay, so that... It's like a blacksmith, but it's a carpenter, I guess. Okay. Let's go ahead and get another one. And put it right there. <laughs> another carpenter. thing and then spending a lot of money on this oh my gosh they're all the same is there some way to change it that I didn't know of bought another one. Fort Haven headquarters. There's got to be some way to change the shop banners. go ahead and actually reload one second guys okay i've went and redone everything after quick saving um i don't really want those shot banners if they're not going to change because they're just you know they're not telling me what exactly it is we're looking at um we can go ahead and buy another building um, we have 40 gold. Uh, hmm. Let's see. No, 
not sure what any of this stuff. Does six variants? So how do you change the variants? I wonder. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a mill. Its upkeep is only one stone, one wood, and then next time we can start getting some gold coming in. So yeah, let's get a mill. Very good. Miller, you stop by the local mill. Farmers bring their crops here to be ground up. A mill is a highly profitable feature of a successful fort. Miller is surprised that you stop by but comes out to greet you, check in on things. Everything is in order. Wheat, corn, millet, and other grains are being pulverized with great efficiency and the profits go to you. That is all. The miller kneels as you leave. Did I, um... Yeah, we're recording. Okay. All right, good. Good, good, good. Um, hmm. So I guess we're pretty much... Oh, there is. There's a particularly active clan of bandits that call themselves the Rusty Barb. They have been in a pain in our backside for years now. The problem is that they have been too good at hiding the location of their headquarters from us. How can I find the Rusty Barb? We have had no luck, but you might. Perhaps you might find a hint in one of their camps. You should discuss issues in the Ukatish lands with me. I might be able to direct you to a source of information. Hmm. Ukatish. Um, are there materials for taking in the Ukatish lands? There are. One quite productive iron mine lies outside the borders of the Ukatish. However, as I'm sure you've guessed, we lost control of it. Mostly to Ukatish brigands, I believe. If you can regain it, it will be a great source of iron for weapons and the like. Nice. Where is this mine? It lies north of Kelleran. It's called Mug Mugrit's Mine, after its first owner and the first person to die there. Who holds the mine? Ah, uh, she checks some papers. Another brigand clan, I'm afraid. It's hard to keep track of them all. This group is called the Rusty Barb. Mostly Ukatish, a nasty group, spread all around us, and we have never been able to find their main base. Perhaps you can learn something useful in Mugrit's mine. Must the Ukatish there be slain? It will be up to you. Sometimes a leader should dispense justice, other times mercy. You are a prince of Haven, so I'm sure you have plenty of experience with these matters. How will the materials there be recovered? Once the mine has been cleared of foes, I will direct workers and guards out to the mines. I will take care of those tedious details. Just remove the enemy. Um... What about lands near the Ariel? This is somewhat embarrassing. Another of our towns has fallen out of our control. It is called Tainley to the northeast. They stopped communicating with us some months ago. It is a great shame, as they were one of our best quicksilver processors. Might be wise to go there and see if they are alright. So the town is lost? As I said, they stopped sending quicksilver. Oh, I sent two soldiers to investigate. They didn't return. I stopped sending anyone. I just didn't have the forces to spare. I think we heard this already, but what do you think is wrong in Tainley? I don't know. However, they are close to the woods of the Ariel. The Ariel have many strange f sorts of magic. Their mages make odd creatures. They play with the minds of others. Someone might be playing a very nasty prank on Haven. Are the people of Tainley traitors? I hope not. They may not have been given a choice in whatever happened. I only hope they are still alive. That's all for now. Um, a job for you?
Your mother sent me to tend to your needs. There's a certain image Haven's envoys need to protect when dealing with our vassals. How may I be of service? Um... Go off and have his daily cry. I don't know what that stuff actually does, if anything. But, um... Let's head to Mugrit's Mine. I think that would be our next logical step here. After freeing Kelleran. Um... Mugrit's Mine... Or we can head up to Tainley Mines. There's also Car to Cardo. Let's travel to Kelleran and go north. But I do want to explore a bit. We explored down there already. Camp Border. Find a band of Haven soldiers, fresh warriors of the West Battalion. They kneel when they meet you and then report. Your battalion is waiting in the outpost of the West, ready for your commands. They are eager, even hungry, to fight and take control of the Upatish. Well, we're gonna, not going to get there yet. Oh, what do we have going on up here? In the distance, you see a band of Ukatish miners. They aren't supposed to be here. This is Haven land, and they are squatters. They don't take the risk of meeting you. When they see you in the distance, they move quickly in the other direction. Is this the mine? I guess it is. The Ukatish infiltrators have started to excavate a mine here. The shaft only extends about 40 feet into the earth and nothing of value has been extracted. Oh. In the distance, you see a band of Ukatish miners. Oh. Ukatish invaders have constructed an iron mine here on your land. They have accumulated a fair amount of iron ore, all of which is Haven property. You make a note some, to send some soldiers out to collect it. Nice. Gain one iron. Oh, what do we have going on up here? This little nook. Oh, it's a scouting point. Find a survey marker. Because you're on the shore, you can see much of the Ukatish land to the west. You take notes. What do we have here? You find a colony of Ukatish miners. They shouldn't be here. It's Haven land. In your time of weakness, a bunch of them snuck in and built a colony here. They are not happy to see you. Their leader approaches and introduces herself. Um, hello. I am Kellis. We greet you. Would you like a meal? Some tea? Um, what are you doing here? Lightly armed miners look at each other, worried. Kellis says, this was empty land. We thought we would settle into it and work it. I hope you will let us stay. Your mother would be furious if she saw intruders just squat. Oh, your mother would be furious if she saw intruders just squatting on her land like this. Um. Hmm. Why should I let you stay? It is empty land. You don't have near enough people here to settle it. We are but poor Ugatish, and all of your land was claimed by our lords. All of our land was claimed by our lords. We ask for your generosity. You can stay. Doesn't cost you anything to let them stay, especially since you could always choose to evict them later. Kellis is beside herself with gravi gratitude. You depart. What do we have going on up here? There's a small group of slumped people stumbling around this fire. They are dirty and dressed in rags. At first, you think they are Ukatish. When you get close, one of them looks up at you. It has a human shape, but it's clearly not human. The face is twisted and the eyes are mindless. He snarls, PERSON! 
Yes, I am a person. The creatures all start to snarl. You've heard of these things. They are mirelings, mindless beasts in human form. When you say you are a person, this triggers something in them. Person! Club! Club! Then they lunge at you. Dang, I could have probably not said I was a person. I tried to communicate with them. Um... Let's go ahead and bleed him out. And, uh, that one. Oh, there's more. Evaded. I can do a whirlwind now. Nice. Come here and try to cleave. Dang. <laughs> Win again. There we are. All right, we had to kill them. You searched the camp. It was an abandoned merchant stop. The people here left behind nothing of value. The Myrlings fouled everything that remained. Oh well. Poor Myrlings, really. <sighs> they attacked us. Um. Let's search for Mugrit's mine. What's this right here? You're killer and oh. Okay, this must be up to Mugrit's mine. Mugrit's mine. Haven claim established. Stay out. This is the entrance to an old iron mine to the north. You see motion in the shadows. Someone saw you coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. The mine has been abandoned, but it could still be reclaimed. If it is not played out and you clear out anyone lurking inside, you will have a source of iron for your forts. Let's come over this way, though. I saw some movement. Oh, hounds. Right? Hmm. Let's come up this way. Your best guess is that this dock was used by smugglers. They abandoned it. This colony was too poor to even support a few lousy smugglers. Happily, they left a few K and crates of iron ingots behind. Bulky stuff, but you can have some soldiers come out from Fort Haven to collect it. Another iron. Man, we're starting to get iron now. We're going to need Quicksilver next. And I don't know why I'm fighting these things, just to clear them out, I guess. Wolves. Um, let them come to us. Um, space, space. Let me come here and use Icy Wave. Perfect for another Icy Wave. <coughs> Elspeth. Whirlwind. <coughs> Shock. <laughs> Ooh, love the sound effect there. Alright, the wolves are taken care of, but... <sighs> Can we fast travel to Mugrits now? No, not yet found. We have to go find it. 
Haven report losses from theft. Oh, dang. That theft hurt. Wow. Only 15% chance, but it landed. Dang. All right, it's found. Right, we can fast travel there. Um, if we come here and head into Keller, and we'll get no, we won't get healed. Hmm. Um, let me head back to. Uh, Haven land to Fort Haven. There we are. <sighs> Probably going to save here. Load F3 and see how long we've been playing. 41 minutes. Perfect. Um, wait a minute. I want to head out and head to Mugritz. Next time... We'll go ahead and explore Mugrit's mine and try to recapture an important iron mine for the colony. Uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate your viewership. Hope you enjoyed the video and are enjoying the Let's Play and joining me for this awesome journey. Uh, see you guys next time. Much love, peace, and joy. Much more to come. Stay tuned.